Hello, this is the One-Eyed Patriot again. Today's video is about being prepared. So we'll be talking today about are you prepared? And what does preparation mean? To us as a society? And us as a nation? Part of being prepared um, for things, um, batteries for example. Do we think about batteries? When was the last time that you knew a storm was coming and went to the store and batteries were in low supply? Just these are things that you should think about. It's pretty much what we're going to talk about today. It's just things to think about. Are you prepared? Gasoline. Are you prepared for a what-if situation? Do you have extra gasoline? Do you keep your car full most of the time? Or do you wait till it's empty? One time we, um, when Katrina hit in the greater Columbia area, that afternoon there was only one gas station in my area that had gas. The line wrapped around the block. Um, so, since then, if my car is below half full, you can better believe that I'm going to fill it up. Things to think about. Do you have plenty of water? What would happen if the water stopped pouring from the tap? Would you have enough? What about a home invasion? Do you leave your doors unlocked all day long? Do you leave them unlocked while you're here? or? It's your home by the by chance. Do you have a good security plan for your home? Do you have a community watch in place? Have you talked to local law enforcement? Perhaps for maybe some of their of their input? Do you have plenty of bullets for your guns? Are your guns readily available? And are they in a gun safe? If your guns are in a gun safe and you have no others available and a burglar breaks in and demands to get in your gun safe, how are you going to defend yourself? So keep that in mind. So I would never keep all my guns in the gun safe. And by the way, that's um, a Weatherby uh, home defense shotgun there. And also, um, let's see, it's a pair of ordnance 1445. Trash big up. What happens if it stops? Are you ready to get rid of it somewhere? Do you have a plan? Have you talked to your neighbors? Do your neighbors have a plan? A lot of things can happen when trash is not picked up for several weeks. In my neighborhood, they pick it up once a week and that gets kind of out of control. So, just these are things to think about. Kind of walking around the property right now. 
Uh, just had a little thought or two. We used to know how to trap animals and get pelts and hunt and things like that and fish and a lot of us have gotten away from that and the new generations haven't hardly been exposed to a lot of that here's a lake right outside of our home and um, you might see some uh, fish activity actually right this second I hear them splashing beautiful day today what would happen if all of a sudden if all of a sudden the uh, computers went out and the banks stopped would you know how to live off the land would you know what plants were edible Would you have stockpiled maybe some food? People oftentimes ask me about this prepping thing. And uh, I tell them, well, do you have life insurance? And they say, well, yes. I said, well, do you have home insurance? And they say, yes. And I say, well, Do you by chance um, have food insurance? And they say, well, no. I said, well, how about um, take five dollars a week and buy an extra bag of rice? Those kind of things make sense. Are you prepared? Do you keep your propane tank full? Do you have an extra propane tank? for your grill just in case think about it these are just things that you need to do take responsibility that's what makes this country strong are you prepared do you have some extra propane for your stoves and things like that old Coleman stoves any kind of stoves just happens to be an old Coleman stove things to think about last night I was working and I depend heavily on my computer and uh, all of a sudden a virus came in and my computer was vulnerable. It was uh, without virus protection for uh, actually the last couple months because I hadn't had any problems. So what the heck, right? Well, I quickly bought the uh, protection plan and uh, we eliminated most of the viruses. But I'll tell you what a night it was. So, back things up from your computer. And be prepared. So when it comes to your computer, are you prepared? Do you have your passcodes protected? Are you prepared? Gas logs. Are you prepared? Do you have a fire extinguisher in your home? Are you prepared? Do you have a carbon monoxide detector in your home? It's just another example of being prepared. In our home, we didn't have a lot of extra room for extra food supplies. And we're certainly not where we'd like to be. And we're realists. But um, we know we need some extra items around. <clears throat> anyway where to store things and 
in most homes is ours is a home that has a closet as you walk in to the foyer it was too small to put but we put about three coats so what we did ta da it is now a cupboard and these are basically canned goods and really and truly extra food coffee was on sale but look at what we've done with just a little tiny hall closet that was useless for three coats and now serves as quite a pantry so are we prepared better than we were but certainly not where we need to be do you have a working weather radio with batteries it's just another example of being prepared so are you prepared things to think about do you have plenty of flashlights are they ready to use at any time these are examples of being prepared normally I try to put some humor in my videos but this particular video is about being prepared and I want you to take it serious these are just some of the ideas just walking around the house today that I was thinking about and I wanted to share them with you and I hope that I've helped you to kind of think about how can you be prepared and I want you to put some of these things in place in your home in hopes that you can be a better steward of your home and your family your neighborhood take responsibility as we should as Americans so today that's it for now and this is the one-eyed patriot if you've enjoyed this video or learned from this video please feel free to subscribe to my channel on YouTube this is the one-eyed patriot signing off